<laughs> what is with that damn national anthem? Must we sing that song before every sporting event? I mean, you paid to get in. You paid for the show. Now they make everyone get up and sing the damn song. And why do we stop at athletic competitions? Maybe Trump will decree that the singing of the national anthem should be before all forms of public entertainment. Yeah. Maybe the audience's movies will have to get up and sing the song. <laughs> Maybe uh, Broadway shows will have to get up. And then, of course, some people want to make sure that they got the right voice because the thing is like an audition because it's a really hard song to sing. How about club acts? Should we all start the... Um, how about starting this event with uh, the national anthem? Ah, just kidding, just kidding. Ah. Donald Trump. The truth, just kidding, the truth, just kidding. Ah, lying. Okay, telling the truth. <laughs> or perhaps after ride on the subway, we're going to hear, This is the last stop. Thank you for riding the MTA. Please join the conductor as he leads you in the national anthem before the doors open. <laughs> or should we just burst out in the song when we're hanging out at the bar, like all those people at a rich place in Casablanca? Yeah. They all started singing the Marseillaise. Everyone seemed to know the words. Even that Czech leader, Victor Laszlo, seemed to know the French national anthem. I mean, we don't even know our national anthem. I mean, really, if someone were to ask Donald Trump, do you know the words to that damn song you're talking about? <laughs> How much you want to bet he doesn't know the words to the national anthem? He claims to love the song more than any other song, but of course, when someone asks him, excuse me, Mr. President, do you know the words to that song? He's going to say, oh, that question disrespects our first responders and troops. <laughs> That's my new alibi friend. Was, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Hey, don't disrespect our troops and first responders. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's my new get out of jail free card. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're at the brink of a nuclear war with North Korea, but the Attorney General has announced that we're going to do another war on drugs. Considering how badly that first war on drugs did. Because <laughs> they lost. They lost. I remember going to Times Square where we all celebrated the end of that drug war. We smoked a J and we, we danced and kissed that nurse, you know. She gave us some down. You know, I remember it. That, now we got another war on drugs. Now, you know we lost that war because every single store sells rolling paper. <laughs> No one ever questioned it. You can't get tobacco in every damn store, but on every block there's a cigarette store, there's a deli, there's a bodega, there's a news, rolling paper. Okay, apparently someone's doing something with that. I can't believe there are a lot of guys raising pigeons because they write the messages on the pigeons <laughs> and tie it to their legs because it's really light paper and maybe that could be it and I'm missing something. Really what the government is saying, we don't have money to make your life better. We don't have money for education, we don't have jobs, we don't have anything for you, but we're gonna spend a lot of money to see that you suffer with a clear head. It's not like, you know, we got a lot of jobs that are open waiting for people to take them and everybody's gotta be straight. Like if you wanna hang out and not out, good, we got a lot of people that we don't know what to do with, you can not out. And send them a subsidy too, what the heck? The only war this administration has decided to quit is the war on sexual assault. Yeah. So now we've changed the rules, the Osama era, Obama era campus sexual assault guidelines now make it harder for the victims to get justice. Because the woman has made the victim. And this is only going to change, see she's always blamed, well why did you wear that revealing dress, of course. You know when it's going to change? When rich white guys get mugged and the attorney of the mugger says, He's wearing a Patek Philippe watch for 10,000 bucks. Surely he was asking to be ripped off. Did you see that expensive suit? He's wearing a suit that costs more than most people make in six months. A hundred thousand dollar watch, that's asking for it. <laughs> then the victim's attorney will get witnesses who said, you know, I've seen him buy rounds of drinks before. He's been known to give money out. I once saw him give money to a homeless person. Ah, so he's got a history of giving out money. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> so this really wasn't a mugging. Perhaps this was just consensual, rough philanthropy. <laughs> Am I keeping it in the five minutes? I think my rant is over. I want to thank you very much. We'll do this again next time. Thank you.